Hey guys, what is up? Here we are with the fourth episode of Tournament 4. It's been a while to get this out to you guys, but here we are with it. In the last few episodes, we saw as 35 people attempted Stage 1 to see who could advance to Stage 2. And Stage 2 is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to take all those people who beat Stage 1, pit them against the new course, and see how they handle it. Anyone who beats this in the 65 second time limit will advance to Stage 3. And these 10 people managed to beat Stage 1 with a chance to attempt this new Stage 2. Drago is sick at the top and Nightwolf Pro at the bottom. First obstacle Stage 2 is the slider drop, followed by the new Swap Sam ladder that's got an extra transfer in the middle. We've got the Unstable Bridge. And followed up by a new addition, the Spider Walk, which leads into the Rolling Ball. And then the good old Wall Lift, three jumps, and you're done. That's all it takes. So, the first person to go up on here is Nightwolf Pro. He's the first person to beat stage one, and he also did it with the slowest time of 12.54 seconds remaining. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so he's gonna. Let's see how he does on stage two. He's a newcomer, he's never been on the course before. Not the slider drop down. The slider drop is not that hard of an obstacle. Make sure this is the hard. Oh, he gets out by the new Sam letter. Didn't even make the second jump. Oh well, sad for him. Next up we've got BJM15, another newcomer. He beat stage one in 14.46 seconds. Oh, he got kicked off immediately. That's not good for time, but it looks like he's gonna try to make it up with speeding through the first obstacle. He's got that down. Uh, okay, don't know why the thing just shrunk down. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, he's jumping across. All right, he's doing. Not doing too bad on the new swap sand ladder. Oh, gets the transfer down. And he's made it to the top. Now onto the unstable bridge. Runs on the first one. Gets the second one. Alright, he's got three of the six obstacles down. Let's see how he does on the spider walk. He's got some really big crowd jumps in here that you gotta get perfect. Oh, but he gets through it. Onto the rolling ball. See if he can maintain his balance. He's rolling it. The track is longer in this course than it has been before, and the dismount is even harder. But not hard for him. He's going on to the final obstacle. He's got six seconds left. If he hurries, he can make it. And BJM, a newcomer, has made it to stage three with 3.85 seconds left on stage two. That's the first time we've seen that. Uh, someone who, that inexperienced, well, I don't know about experience was, but he beat stage two. He's going on to stage three in the next episode. But the next person up is X Down to Bomb X, who beats stage one with 16.65 seconds remaining. Uh, tied for with game types as well. But uh, let's see how he does on stage two. He's a stage two veteran. He's been here before. Oh, he did the same thing BJM did. But BJM still managed to beat it. Dom has never failed stage one and never beaten stage two. Let's see if he can change that today. He's climbing up the new swap sam ladder. Doesn't seem to be having troubles with it. Oh, he gets it too high in it. Oh, alright. That was a good save by Dom. Alright, he's up the sam ladder. He's Alright, there he goes. He's jumping across. Oh. He is struggling getting up this thing. This is hurting his time. BJM barely made it in time. He had only three seconds left. I don't know if Dom can make it within the time limit now. But he did get the unstable bridge down. Now it's under the new spider walk. See how he can handle it. This, these jumps are big, but he's seen, oh, he gets taken out by the final jump. Dom unsuccessful on the new spider walk. Now our fourth guy to go is going to be Game Types, who had the exact same time that Dom did on stage one. But uh, we're doing just in alphabetical order, backwards, I guess. But uh, so let's see how he does on stage two. You got the slider, uh, slider drop down fine. Now onto the new double salmon ladder, or er, swap salmon ladder, I'm sorry. He's hopping across, no troubles. He's gotta make the big transfer, this is the hard one. But he gets it. He's climbing right up. Okay, onto the unstable bridge. These jumps are big, you gotta, oh. Just barely made that one, and he cleared that one. Now he's onto the new spider walk, it just took out Dom. 
But game types has been to stage three in the past. Can he do it again? He was he met stage three in the very first episode. Well, he's all over the ball, but he's he's getting it. All right, I gotta make the sprint jump, and he gets it. He's got plenty of time left to beat stage two. All he's gotta do is hit the buzzer, and he makes it with 8.77 seconds left on the clock. Game types going back to stage three again. So good job to him. That's two people have advanced to stage three. Now our next competitor is going to be Trigger Man. He beat stage one with 17 and a half seconds left. Oh, he's going extremely slow. He's gonna have to back up and restart. No way he's gonna make that. All right, he's going for it again. There he goes with speed, flying through the first obstacle. And right into the new swap sam ladder. Makes the transfer, and no problem. Hopping right up it. He doesn't seem to be struggling with this at all. Oh, he slips off by Kenny. Oh, he couldn't save himself going back down. Trigger man falling on the swap salmon letter. He could not hold himself together for that. And next up, we've got MLG Razor Pro. Friend of Nightwolf Pro, the first person to beat the stage. And this guy beat stage one with 18.77 seconds left. See how he does on stage two. It's the slider drop with no troubles. Alright, on to the swap salmon ladder. Oh, doesn't catch it the first time, but he gets it the second time. Makes the first transfer. And the next one. Now he's got to go up. Back over. Seems to be doing fun on this obstacle. Alright, he made it to the top. Now onto the unstable bridge. These are big jumps if you don't... Oh, he cleared that one. He's showing no troubles with the unstable bridge. Made it through that obstacle. Now on to the spider walk. This took out Dom. I wonder if it's going to take out anyone else. Alright, he's making it. Oh, it's not taking him out. As he makes it onto the rolling ball. Jumping right onto the ball, getting right into it. Oh, he looks steady. Oh, he slipped over the front. Oh, MLG has fallen on the rolling ball and next up we've got returning competitor sleepy slayer who beat stage one with 19.41 seconds remaining and he had a very close call on stage one at the spinning bridge right there but he still made it to the end so let's see how he does on stage two he has made it to stage three in the past he was among he was amongst hunter unit 751 and uh, Dragon was sick. They both, all three of them cleared the, uh-oh, uh, ultimate cliffhanger. Even though, as you'll see in the next episode, the ultimate cliffhanger is no longer in the tournament. Alright, he's going on for the double salmon letter, and my... Alright, hang on. Whatever. Alright, he's making it to the top. He's jumping right across onto the unstable bridge. It's the first one and the second one. No problem. All right, on to the spider walk. It's making the big car jumps look easy. On to the rolling ball. All right, he's rolling it. Oh, he's all over the ball, but he's he's not keeping it controlled. He's going slowly. He's making it. He's making it to the bottom. Oh, he makes it. Now he's just got to make the jump. He's got 10 seconds left. He needs to hurry. He wants to beat the stage. Alright, over the first one. Okay, he's got it with 4.59 seconds left. That was a close call for Sleepy, but he still made it. And, uh, please ignore the fact that I put Sleepy Slayer's name at the top. It shouldn't be there. I'll fix that later. So, good job, Sleepy. He made it to the end. Now, the third to last person is Hunter Unit 751, returning competitor. He's made it to stage 3 twice in the past, became the first person to beat the ultimate cliffhanger. And he flew through the course, beating the warped wall in one, and showing no troubles whatsoever. Let's see how he does today on stage two. He's from Extreme UK Gaming, so go check out his channel. He also does the Halo Ninja Warrior, or for him it's Ninja Warrior Halo. Oh, he also gets kicked off the front. A lot of people are doing that. But they come back for it later, making it up. Alright, on to the new swap sam ladder. See how he does. Alright, he's taking he's going slowly. He doesn't know what he's doing. Alright. 
He looks confused. But he makes the big transfer. And he's climbing his way to the top. Alright, onto the unstable bridge. And the first one, oh, almost didn't make it, but he made Suicide. it. Suicide! Uh, okay, don't know what that was. Um, onto the spider walk. He's jumping up it. No problems. Okay, onto the rolling ball. He's close to beating stage two. Let's see if he can do it. All he's gotta do is get this rolling ball. He should be familiar with this obstacle since it's on his course. Alright, he's making the dismount. Oh, he doesn't make it. He comes up short. Hunter unit failed on stage two on the rolling ball. Oh, next up we've got Expose. Our second fastest guy on stage one. He's a newcomer. Amazing time for beating stage one. He blew us all away with his time. And he's just a good jumper, especially for never being on the course before. But uh, making his debut, he is doing very well. All right, he's up. Him and BJM, two newcomers, all making it to stage two. BJM has made it to stage three. If Exposed can make it to stage three, this would be quite impressive. He is blazing through the course. Hopping right up that, okay, onto the rolling ball. It just took Hunter out. Hunter is an experienced veteran on this course. Exposed is going to have to be extremely careful if he doesn't want to do the same thing. All right, just make the sprint jump off. Oh, he's got 20 seconds left on the clock. He's going extremely fast. Hopping right across the obstacles onto the last one, and he hits the buzzer. 11.37 seconds left. Exposed is going on to stage three, along with the other three competitors. So good job, Exposed. You have the, he has the fastest time beating stage two now. And we saved the best for last. We have Drago is sick, who had the fastest time beating stage three, skipping to the third turret on the turret jump. He uh, put an amazing time going through stage one, and he has been to stage three maybe twice in the past. So let's see how he does today. Very experienced competitor on this course. However, in his first appearance on the show, he did fail. Stage two, but only at the very end. All right, he jumps up. And there's no extra jump. All right, he's doing it again. It looks like it just might be his technique. It seems to be working for him. And he is getting through it in an amazing time so far. Right up the swap sam ladder. Across. All right, he's made across the unstable bridge. Now right into the spider walk. Uh, not the easiest obstacle, but he makes it look easy right into the rolling ball jumping on it Getting it rolling is the hardest part, but then once it gets rolling, you just got to keep your balance He seems to be doing fine oh, Spring jumps right off not wasting any time. He's still got 15 seconds left on the clock He's look he looks good to go and Boom he makes it to the end of stage two going on to stage three along with the four others we got that's three returning competitors and two newcomers making it on to stage three. Expose did have the fastest time. And BJM first to beat it with the slowest time. But that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll get to stage three. And we can do all that. Uh, tournament five runs have just ended, so those are over now. But tournament six will start when the first episode of tournament five is uploaded. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And stay tuned for the next one. Have a good day.